Hey guys, John Hoyer, Berkeley Pro and co-designer of the new Berkeley Powerbait Power Switch. If you're watching this video, you might already have these in your hands and that's really good news for you and probably bad news for the walleyes and the bass and anything else that you target. I wanna go over one of my favorite ways to work this bait, especially in summertime for walleyes. It has a lot of versatility and there's a number of different things you can do with it. But one of my favorite ways to do it is to use the darting action of the bait to trigger a fish. So generally I'll try to find some fish on forward facing sonar. I'll get within 40 to 60 feet of them, make a cast a little bit past them, and then come in over their heads. And this is kind of an important part. I like to give it a couple twitches above the fish. It's kind of a greeting like, hey, how you doing? I'm up here. And it allows the bait to just kind of dart above their head and get their attention. Then after that, there's a number of different things I do, but one of my favorite things to do is to just let the bait get down to the bottom and then just add a couple little slow twitches and let it coast to the bottom. And really the beauty of this, as opposed to using a paddle tail or anything, is that nice side to side action you can get. So I like to just kind of weave it on the bottom and then let the HD printing on the side of it really sell it to the fish. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So again, just make a 40, 60 foot cast. Maybe I see a three pack out there. And if I'm in 18 feet of water, I'm usually, I'm watching my bait on the screen, get down to them. And then just a couple twitches above their head. And now I'm just coasting past them. So a lot of times I'll see the fish dart right down to the bottom after it. And I know I'm probably in business, but after that, it's really pretty subtle. It's just a couple little slack line twitches and then coast to the bottom, twitch, twitch post to the bottom and I know that bait is just making this nice little zigzag and kind of meandering down there and a lot of times you know after those couple twitches on the coast is when you're gonna feel that bite you can work this bait probably 20 different ways and a lot of my favorites are pretty aggressive but today I just kind of found out after watching a few fish that they just want to subtle so it's these little twitches on the bottom it makes the bait just kind of meander like that and touch and lift off and meander and touch and that's been the ticket for the power switch. So when you get the power switch in your hand and you try it for the first time, remember there's a lot of different ways to work the bait, but that's definitely one of my go-tos.